I take every opportunity that I can to make videos. So I'm making cucumber juice. This is uh, juice number one in my juice order. So here we go. You know, and the thing with the cucumber juice, you got it. That's that's the recipe. <laughs> cucumber juice. And the thing is, is it's like it is the best. Cucumber juice will soothe inflammation and pain better than anything else. And it's really good in the summer to cool you down because cucumbers are very cooling. That's why cucumbers aren't really the best thing to be drinking in winter, can you dig it? When it's winter time, it's good to have more of the neutral or warming foods. And in the summer, it's good to have more of the cooling foods. Um, cucumber and watermelon, for example, are very cooling. Apples and lemons, limes, uh, oranges are very neutral. And then carrots, beets, cabbage, ginger, turmeric are all examples of warming food. So it's nice to find out. I think I read a book, it was this food bible thing, it was like 900 pages. That was years ago. I can't remember the title of it. Um, but it had uh, quite a bit of different philosophies, mostly kind of like a Chinese um, philosophy, which is ridiculous, man. The whole thing, honestly, all of it, Ayurveda, Chinese. <laughs> Because it's funny because it's kind of like this, like, and this is the one thing that gets me with the humans and the nutrition. It's like every single living thing, every single organism from the smallest nanoscopic, you know, amoeba all the way to, you know, the largest animals on earth, whatever those are, the blue whales or something. Every single living organism, from the smallest to the biggest, is 100% raw foodist. Oh, and the human beings, I don't even care, man. It's like, it tastes delicious, whatever. You don't live that long, you're here, you're in, you're out. I mean, I don't understand, whatever. Pleasure, fun, balance, I don't know. But it's just funny that at least we can't admit that. So it's like, if you're truly a carnivore, you would definitely be eating raw meat. You know, and if you were like a vegan, you would definitely be eating like raw food, real food. Anyhow, it just, it's funny, man. It's funny and it's crazy. Actually, to be honest with you, it's kind of ridiculous. Anyhow, that's the law of the, of the world. That's the law of this earth anyways. Nobody wants to admit it. <laughs> I don't even care, man. Like I'm not, I'm not anybody's judge. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I know everything's delicious or whatever, you know. And it gets cold, so I get that too. But what happens is, if you, if you're really healthy, you don't get cold. Your nerves and your, 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 your nervous system and your endocrine glands—they all function. They keep you warm. You know, if you have high vitality, we just don't anymore. We, we are a degenerated race. So that's why we can't give anyone a hard time. We just, we're so weak, we can't even eat real food. It's too, real food, it doesn't resonate with us. It makes us sick. If people, if you give people like Puridime or if you give people like juice, and they just have a blowout or they get, they're like, oh, they get sick because the parasites and the lower vibration, they can't handle any life force. So you got to inch your way into the life force to be able to handle it. And you got to start off with like one enzyme at a time or one herbal blood. And then you work your way and then you'll be able to get it to where you build it all up until where you just have your gut can handle it and you're not in such a dysbiotic state that you're the, the organisms that are living in your gastrointestinal tract can handle life. And that's the problem. Five minutes. Drink your cucumber juice and get healthy. Missed it.